and I'm planning on working on this beach because we are once again in the dark depths of my cold, cold garage today. Um, so, as you can see, um, yeah, so engine's out, um, and then I've also got this gearbox, and uh, last night I came down and started fitting um, the gearbox mount. Um, but here, I can't see the light in here, it's terrible today. Um, but here, this, this prong here doesn't meet uh, any hole. So I've made a, I call it CAD, cardboard aided design. Um, and that's going to fit in, in there. And then we'll bolt and drill and all that sort of crap. Um, so I marked it out on here, very technical. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's, it's somewhere near and I'll polish it out with a grinder. So that'll be going on there. And then today, all of my clutch assembly stuff will come. So I'll be getting this monstrous gearbox off and hopefully getting that one mounted either today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, but we're going to be looking at engine mounts basically today. Um, so yes, that's kind of where we're at. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film and whatnot, um, but I'll do the best I can. You know, it's cool. Anyway, right, let's get on with the day and try and warm up, shall we? All right, I've made up a bracket. It's not my finest work, but it'll do for a, for a little bit. Hang on, get around as it goes. Goes in there. Um, needs a bit of tidy up. I'm gonna polish up and then I'll get it powder coated. All the holes line up. Well, they did anyway. There we go. All the holes line up as it should. Um, this top arm, the arm will bend in to go where it needs to go. But yeah, so I'm I'm gonna be getting that powder coated. Well, I'm actually powder coating it myself, but we'll go into that in another video. Um, but yeah, so that's that bit done. I'm gonna now um, take off the gearbox over here, I think. That's the next job. Get this gearbox off, and from there we can um, well start locating that. Um, I also found an alternator with a pulley on, so I need to work out where that's going to go on this engine. But kind of do that, uh, do that at some point. Right, time to crack on. I think. Um, yeah, the day is yeah, it's half past ten, so yeah, still got a work cut out. But I've also got to try and keep this place tidy. It's quite hard when there's not much space and I've got lots of shit on the bench. But we'll get there. It'll all be tidy again in a bit. I've started undoing all the bolts and the starter motor and stuff. As you can see around there. So the starter motor's come out of there. And I've started undoing the bolts. Now what I do with this, and this is really DIY, but I get a piece of cardboard, draw your bell housing in it, put the starter in, and then you work and you just work your way around, putting the bolts in, and then you know, almost, that all the bolts are all going in the right place. So, very easy, very simple to do, and it just saves a lot of aggro later where you're putting short bolts in long holes and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, so you may as well watch me do this, and then we'll um, try and get this clutch, uh, clutch and gearbox off. And that is the gearbox split. See? Just pull it off now. And there we have it. That is the uh, gearbox off. So this is the MTX 75 or MXT 75, I can't remember. And uh, yeah, got a lot of oil leaking everywhere on this, which is a little concerning. But we'll get there. So 
Yeah, so hopefully the um, the other gearbox is the same pattern, which I'm going to go and ma match up now, I think. And we can see from there if it's uh, all going to fit. Hopefully it will. Right, so this is the one we're putting on next, and that's the old one. As you can see, this one is monstrous compared to that one. So hopefully, fingers crossed it all fits. Um, I have noticed that spigot there is a lot bigger than this one. Um, so, yeah. All, right, all we can do is pray and hope that I'm doing the right thing here. Yeah. We shall see, eh? We shall see. I've uh, just knocked up this bracket here. See this three-legged thing that we made for the gearbox? This thing goes on there, like so. Just push it on. Alright, so that goes on there like that. And then, just push that on. It's all a little bit tight. And that goes on there like that, basically. And then we blob a little bit of weld across there and around the back. Yeah, blob a bit of weld across there, around the back, and when that's in the right place. And that's our engine mount sorted. So yeah, all looking pretty good. But just gonna get all my brackets made up ready, and then when I can go and get the, uh, when I fire up the welder, I can then just do it all in one hit then. But yeah, so far so good. It's not too bad actually. It's a bit slow today, uh, I'm not making a great deal of progress. I'm trying to make an engine mount up. Um, so this is the bracket, now this bracket um, is going over here. Let me just find it for you. Oh. It's going on this corner in here. Um, it's going to be two prongs coming out of there, and then I'm going to have an arm coming off which will then pick up on the engine, it will pick up onto a plate, onto these four here. Coming in around there. Um, but I'm having a problem because I don't know what to use for the top engine mount. So I've, I've got loads of, I've got a shed full of crap. Um, what I have found is some suspension. Now what I want to do is try and find parts that I can find bushings for, because trying to find bushings later on could be a pain in the ass. Um, so I found this. Um, so that will fit in there nicely with some shims. Just to, you know, just, just so you can allow, you know, you want a bit of wiggle room. There's quite a lot of wiggle room there actually to be fair. It's monstrous. Um, but yeah, so but I'm probably gonna have to do is probably cut this and put that on straight and at least then I've got an adjustment because then it's a uh, left-handed thread as well which is quite cool I mean you see that sorry yeah left-handed thread um, so yeah I'm not sure that looks like it's gonna be too wide again but anyway we'll work it out um, so my bear my flywheel hasn't turned up yet so I've still got that to deal with um, but yeah I'm quite pleased with that bracket down there that one there, it's looking pretty good. Um, so once that one's in, that one's in, I've got to find something to come off the back of that as well, which I don't know what's going to do that. It's going to be a nightmare to find. Um, there's a bracket just down there, mounting points just down there. If it focuses, there we go, those two. So I need to find something to mount off them. Um, and I've also got to put one to the front, but that's fairly easy. I've got an idea for that. But yeah, so I'm going to keep plodding on. Um, it's not been a great deal, it's just been my back against the workshop bench, which is an absolute shit tip again. But anyway, right, right, let's crack on, let's get the job done. I'm going to start tigging um, my engine mounts up now. Um, this is not how I normally work, when I've only got a socket in here because electric's coming very soon. So it's, it is chaotic and I hate working like this, but we've just got to do what we've got to do for now. Um, but yeah, so TIG welding using steel filler wire, usual sort of stuff. Um, I've made, I've put this on a plate, magnetic um, brackets, it's earthed there. Um, should be quite easy to get some decent heat into this, um, shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm not sure you're going to be able to watch it or not, probably not. Um, 
but I'll stop and give you updates as we go along. But I think it's been quite a boring video. I need to sort my life out. I need to tidy up a bit more, I think. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, so right, well, here's the uh, engine mount. It's a bit heavy duty, but I over engineer everything. My TIG welding's uh, not that neat. So I won't zoom in too much. You can see how shit that is. Probably a lot better, but I'm so out of practice these days. Um, so this will be going on here, um, somewhere like that. Um, and it'll be all shaped to look nice and round and all this sort of stuff. Very much like that one down there. Once again, the welding on that is horrific. Um, but it is strong as an ox and I had to weld it. Yeah, it was just a nightmare, but whatever, I don't care. It's strong as it is. And once it's painted, no one's gonna see it and there's brackets and all sorts of crap going on there. Um, so I've still got another mount to make down in this corner, but I don't know where that's gonna go until the car is in. And I've got a bracket down there again, wherever. I don't know where that's gonna go, I have no idea. I'm gonna have to actually have a Google and see where that one goes. And uh, yeah, but we're making progress, slowly but surely. Tomorrow I'll be obviously getting the clutch in and stuff. Let's look see how dark it is out here. Um, but yeah, so I think that's about it. So thanks for watching. Um, it's been a rubbish update today. I'm just yeah, but whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and I'll catch you all soon.